This is Vet Tales, the story of the world's only sailing veterinary clinic. Last episode, we visited the off-grid island community of Isla Partida, where we provided free veterinary consultations to the island's dog. This episode, we go back to La Paz to reprovision to return with vaccinations for all the animals we met along the way. heading back to La Paz. Uh, it's been pretty glassy so far, but the wind might be picking up, so maybe we get to sail, we'll see. Um, we've only got about 16 nautical miles to go though, so it's not, not very far, and a lot of that is in the channel. But yeah, we had a very successful trip though. Um, we saw something like around 30 animals over the two villages, dogs, cats, and turtles, so that was pretty cool. We actually saw more turtles than cats, interestingly. <laughs> Um, yeah, and we're really excited to head back with the vaccines. We are really, really happy we we're able to help out so much and both of the villagers were just so happy that we were there and, you know, providing veterinary care. They've never had veterinarians visit and, um, yeah, it was really, really good to be there. So we're excited to go back and we couldn't have done it without you all, so thank you. One, <laughs> there is no wind today. My new favorite way to sail, we're going downwind again. <laughs> we actually got a little bit of wind and we're going like between three and three and a half knots. We're not going super fast, but it's very comfortable. Just got the head sail out. The wind's almost directly behind us. Now we want a spinnaker so we can go fast in light winds downwind. We're back in cell service, so I'm already back consulting. You guys might remember Larry and Lula. I don't know if you could really see that, but Larry's ear has become really bad again. So we're just talking about changing some of their drug doses to better manage. They've got an autoimmune skin condition to better manage it and how to treat this kind of this burn almost that he's got um, so that he can feel better soon. It's been nice sailing though. We've just been going nice and slow. Actually, we're not going that slow, are we? I think we're got, getting up to like four, four knots now or something. We're in between three and a half and four and a half knots. Mm, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's very pleasant though. Nice temperature too. So really, I mean, I guess they're just trying to get the bay line. All right, we just had a nice successful jibe and it's pointing us in a good direction to head in. So yeah, we're gonna be sailing almost pretty much into the channel, I think at this point. I love going downwind, it's fun. We've got the motor on because we are actually going to attempt to sail the channel, which we've never done before, but we've got good wind for it but there are sailboats coming in and out with sails on and we'd rather just have our motor on. So if anything goes wrong, we're ready because it's our first time trying. But I'm excited to try. Like this guy looks like he's about to hit us. They are gonna come close. Just don't worry about it. I 
trying not to be dead. <laughs> We just jived around the corner and now we're in the channel. Very excited. <laughs> um, yeah, so far so good. We're not going super fast, but we're still just going downwind, but we're actually getting like 3.5 knots now, I think, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, heading on in. And we've turned the motor off. So we just wanted it on for that kind of coming around the corner bit with all the boat traffic to make sure that everything went as it should, but it did. So now we should be able to just hopefully downwind sail all the way into the anchorage, which will be really fun. Just passing one of the marinas and we're getting quite close to the anchorage. We have been back in La Paz for the afternoon. We sailed all the way in, it was great. Um, yeah, and our anchoring spot was of course open because nobody else can anchor here because we we're in 1.8 meters of water. So it was great. Um, yeah, now basically we've just got to start contacting veterinary clinics and see how, when, when, or how, when and where we can source the vaccines. So that'll be really cool. All right, everybody, well, Hope you'll stay very chuffed and good night. Hola Ricky, I hope you're well. Um, I wanted to let you know about a sea turtle that we saw. I think she was an adult female. Um, she had a lateral buoyancy issue on the left side, but she was able to dive some, so we weren't able to rescue her since it's just the two of us on the boat and we don't have any equipment. Thank you much, I really appreciate that. Um... We went out these last days uh, looking for an entangled whale, and unfortunately, we didn't saw her again. So, and then I will check the coordinates because we saw another one, another, uh, another toe. Right, we just finished up at the bank. Just paid out 750 US dollars to Dr. Brenda and Dr. Barraquil so they can go ahead and do the reduced cost spay and neuter clinic in Puerto Madero. It's already 35 patients booked in. dogs, five cats and 30 rabies to do everybody and all of the vaccine cards. We're heading into shore to do the last of our provisioning to head back to San Evaristo tomorrow. Oh well, on our way to San Evaristo. Um, we basically spent the week just preparing the boat provisioning and trying to find the vaccines and things that we need to take back with us to San Evaristo and Isla Coyote but we managed to get all the vaccines yesterday it was about $400 worth of vaccines so that's to do 25 dogs and five cats for both like the common diseases like distemper parvovirus and for cats respiratory diseases and things like that as well as for rabies so we're covering everything so that's really cool um, and then things like diesel runs and all of that and then we also paid um, into Dr. Brenda's account in Puerto Madero. Um, it was about $750 from memory um, for the spay and neuter campaign in Puerto Madero that's gonna be in a week. So they've got 35 animals already booked in for that. So that's really exciting as well. So yeah, all the animal projects are rolling forwards. Plan today is we're just popping in to get some last minute groceries and just making sure the diesel and water's all topped off. And then tomorrow we'll probably go to Isla Espiritu, which is kind of like 25 nautical miles from here. And then the next day do the further 30 nautical miles on to San Evaristo, be able to do our vaccine campaigns kind of on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on San Evaristo and in the island community. And then we'll be heading back this way again. So yeah, it's exciting stuff. Well, now that we have our animal stock, we need to get all of Chuff's stock. 
diesel run. Easy way. You're not running. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna do a diesel run? Oh, careful. Crash in this car. <laughs> we definitely can't afford any crashing. Trying to find enough space to fit all of our food that we need to be gone for like eight days without being to, able to reprovision. Plus all of the vaccines. It's like 50, no, 60 vaccines we've got to fit in here. Ah. All right, we're just lifting anchor, getting ready to head north to San Evaristo. Yeah, so right now we're just coming through the La Paz Channel. Um, the plan is to stop at Isla Espiritu Santo tonight and then tomorrow continue on to San Evaristo where we'll be doing the vaccines. Then we'll go to Isla Coyote to vaccinate their three dogs before heading back this way. So we're thinking it'll take about seven days round trip because we'll probably stay a couple nights at each place. And yeah, very excited to do this little trip again. Maybe go to some new anchorages. We'll see. Are you ready to go? Ready. changes dramatically here it was like bikini weather in the anchorage and then we've just gotten out and now it's like freezing cold and some wind but we're not raising sails yet we're gonna let ourselves just go a little further out because sometimes the wind dies very quickly once you're out of this little channel entrance anyway yeah and as Jim said we are going straight into the wind right now so there's more apparent wind than there actually is but in good news we're about to lose cell service and not have internet for the trip but I just got a message from Surface for Strays. Lula, who's the dog that had the really bad skin disease, the one we called Ugly Cute. She's been up for adoption, I think for like five years. She's flying out on Tuesday and has an adopter in the US. It's so exciting. So yeah, she'll be getting adopted very, very soon. Well, she's already adopted. She's heading to her new home. So really amazing news. That's put me in a very, very good mood. A great final message before switching off and not having a phone for a week. Well, I mean, I'll have a phone, but you know, not having a reception. Yay! Oh, and I should mention, her brother Larry is still up for adoption. He's also looking for a forever home. It'd be so amazing to get both of them adopted this year. So if you're looking for a special doggy, he's very cute. It's kind of Was a red tide. Yeah, I'm gonna text the uh, marine rescue guys. I, they might already have been out and seen it, but I'll give them a heads up if they haven't. So we waited before looking at getting the sails up because you get kind of a bit of a weird land effect there. And as you can see, only a couple miles away, it's now glassy. And the only wind is the wind we're creating by going directly into it, so. I think it'll be a motoring day, which is what we expected because Windy said there was only going to be like four knots of wind, so yeah. Even going six knots, there's not enough wind to move our flag. It is just a glassy day heading to the islands. Spotted another turtle that looks dead. I'm gonna go take a look and make sure it's not just really sick. It's definitely not moving. Another dead turtle. It's the second dead turtle we've seen near the islands. So as you can see, the weather changes drastically here. The north winds funnel through this little bit, so it's a bit of an illusion that you've got all this wind for sailing. But as soon as you pass this little bit, it's gone again. But this is where, because of that funneling wind, this is basically where we pulled into around the back of this island when we came up the first time to San Evaristo. 
because the northerlies were so strong we didn't want to go any further. This time we're going to try to get a little closer so that it's a bit less distance tomorrow uh, to Coleta Partida which was the second anchorage we went to um, on our way to San Evaristo last time so yeah coming through you can kind of see the wind not only funnels through the like arroyos of the um, island but then also through these gaps with the littler islands. Very beautiful scenery though these islands are just beautiful. We've made it to a little anchorage between Espiritu Santos and Isla Patida so it's called Caleta Patida and we chose this anchorage because there's meant to be a bit of a westerly wind or possibly southwesterly wind tonight and this is one of the only anchorages that's protected especially because we can tuck up really close to the shoal in Chuck with the keel up um, and then tomorrow morning we'll lift anchor and head back head on to San Evaristo so it was about five hours to here and it should be another five to six hours on to San Evaristo tomorrow we anchored here the last time on our way to San Evaristo because there was a westerly wind and it was protected and we didn't roll or anything so we're pretty confident it should be a nice comfortable night here. These veterinary expeditions are made possible by our patrons and other donators. You can become a patron to get live updates and early release ad free videos or you can make a once off donation to help save animals. You can also help us by giving this video a like, a comment or a share and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next episode, stay chuffed everybody.